But I think it's also, I use the word realistic. The £5 million that we announced today, which is £3 million for this year and £1 million each for each of the next two years, is a portion of the uh, £65 million, pounds, $85 million, uh, which we have announced for uh, UNRWA for this last year, 2018, which represents over a doubling of UK support for uh, UNRWA uh, and is an indication of the importance which we attach to uh, enabling it to continue its particularly health care and education services uh, and providing uh, the foodstuffs and winterization uh, um, uh, supplies for um, these, uh, the refugees. A thousand again will uh, receive health consultation, so it will end with the sort of traumas which they have uh, been through. Well, the cut in US funding has not helped the challenges which uh, UNRWA faces, uh, but UNRWA has uh, always faced uh, financial challenges and uh, we uh, were anyway committed to trying to increase international funding to ensure that it was in a position to, uh, to help meet those challenges. The fact is that the Americans contributed over a third of the uh, budget uh, and even then there was a crisis, not this last 2018, there was a crisis in 2017 uh, and we had to work hard to fulfill UNRWA's requirements then. That crisis is obviously the sharper this year because of the um, uh, reduction in American funding and we will uh, maintain our efforts in the year ahead because again at the end of the day we must just bear in mind why we're all doing this which is to uh, support the very vulnerable uh, Palestinian refugees who are the recipients of this aid. This year we have seen an, an, an incredible effort by the international community to help us uh, close the deficit, but unfortunately we still have a deficit today of 21 million US dollars until the end of this year, but this was over 400 million dollars in January, so this is a remarkable effort who, in addition to already being refugees before the civil war in Syria, uh, services, and uh, it's very important that we... The event today, the, the British gave a, a firm commitment that is here to fund UNRWA for years to come, for which is very important for us, and it's important for the Palestinian refugee community to hear such a statement.